Welcome, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Jen Hillman, and I welcome you to this replay of my live yoga class, Vin Yin, Remember. Roll out your mat and get ready for an invigorating practice that is at once energizing and deeply relaxing. Leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the mat. So we can just begin in a comfortable seat and just take these first few moments to get grounded and centered. Tuning into your breath. Feel the pulse of your heartbeat. And become aware of any other currents of life, energy that you feel in your body. And let the thoughts of your mind begin to fade into the background as you allow yourself permission to drop into this moment to remember your true essence. Take a deep breath. Exhale fully. And just do that deep breathing a few more rounds, really slow and deep. Feeling the fullness of your breath, the enjoyment and the satisfaction of a deep, full breath. This, this deep breath, this is your true essence. This is what calls to be remembered. I'm just feeling that deep, satisfying breath. This is all you need. It's always with you. An endless, renewable resource. A current of life force energy moving constantly. Draw your hands up onto your chest. Just lightly place your fingertips onto your chest. Lift up your elbows as you inhale, just feeling that sense of expansiveness. And as you exhale, see if you can maintain that sense of lift and open through your chest, kind of drawing the elbows back slightly. And as you draw in your next inhale, lift up through the chest, lift up through your elbows, feeling your wings expand. And as you exhale, maintain that sense of lift and just open through the chest, almost like peeling open the curtains, like pulling the heart open. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, growing tall, expanding, lifting up. As you exhale, open through the chest, peeling your heart open. You can even lift through your gaze. Then on your next breath, reach your fingertips to the sky. Inhale, growing tall. Reach up as high as you can. 
Then exhale and float your left hand down and reach your right arm over. Just taking a nice big side body stretch. Then on your next inhale, open your heart towards the sky, rolling your chest open and reach your right arm open. So you kind of reach the right arm towards the back, opening through your chest. And we'll inhale and reach back to the side, taking that full side body stretch. Oh yeah, then we'll exhale and slowly rise all the way back up to center. And inhale and circle the arms up. Big deep breath, reach all the way to the top. Then we'll exhale and reach to the second side, floating your right arm down, lift the left arm up and over, reach and stretch out through that left side. Then we'll inhale and open your heart towards the sky. We'll gently circle the left arm open and feel that stretch in your heart and chest. Then we'll inhale, reaching back towards the side, moving back into that side body flexion. We reach, then exhale and rise all the way back up to center. And we'll take a little twist here. Sweep your right hand across to the left knee. Reach your left fingertips back and lift your heart as you inhale your breath. Then twist a little deeper as you exhale. Then we'll leave your right hand where it is. Circle your left hand around over to the right side. Then tuck your chin to your chest. Lean back into the stretch, opening the space behind your shoulder blades. Then slowly rise back to center, breathing slow and steady. We'll reach the left hand across and the right fingertips back. Inhale to lift and grow tall. And exhale to spiral your heart around. Nice deep rotation here. Finding that maximum twist. And then sweep your right hand up and over to the left knee. We'll tuck your chin to your chest, lean back into the stretch and open the space in your upper back. Ooh, and we'll slowly return to center. Nice deep breath as you come back to that neutral and active spine. And we'll roll your head around a few times. You can reverse directions as you're ready. Slowly awakening and alivening the body. And then make your way back to center. Ah, yes. So as we begin to move deeper into our practice, I encourage you to remember your breath. Remember that inhale and that exhale, that fluid movement of energy, which is your life force and see how that movement of your breath influences your practice. So we'll begin to make your way onto your hands and knees, coming to a tabletop position. So as you settle into your tabletop, we'll begin to move our cat and cow and really let your breath be the inspiration. <laughs> A little play on words there. So breathing that deep inhale, we roll your shoulders down, lift through your tail, feeling that expansion through the front body. Then as you exhale, we curl it all in, a deep compression pressing all the air out and using that to stretch your back. So just moving through this rhythm, guided by your breath, let your breath be your guide. 
So we may be moving on different timelines. But what's most important is your personal journey, your personal experience of this breath in motion, the sensation in your body. And slowly make your way to a tabletop. Coming back to neutral. We'll open it into a twist. Inhale and reach your right fingertips to the sky. Getting a nice side body stretch. Reach. And then exhale and weave your right arm under. Bringing your shoulder down onto the floor. Work your way into a deep twist here. Use your left hand to push into the floor and give you leverage to spiral your heart around even further. So we reach the right fingertips across, leaning in towards that right shoulder. Get a good stretch behind the shoulder blade. Then we'll inhale and press up and out of the stretch, opening your right fingertips back up towards the sky and then we'll slowly exhale and release the right hand down then here glide your right fingertips forward towards the front edge of your mat let your heart come down chest melting towards the floor rotate your right hand so the pinky edge of your hand is coming down onto the floor and your palm is rotated towards your midline. Breathe slow and steady as you lean your heart into the earth and stretch into that right shoulder. Ah. And slowly press yourself back up to center. Coming back to that tabletop, we're going to make some big circles here, just spiraling through your hips and your shoulders, mobilizing through your spine, your hips, yeah, all that good movement. And then we'll slowly make your way back to center. You can pull back into a child's pose, just taking a nice deep breath in. And a nice deep breath out. Ah, good. Then we'll press back into that tabletop and prepare for the second side. So as you're ready, get it set up nice and neat. And we'll inhale and open your left fingertips to the sky, getting that good rotation and side body stretch. And then exhale and weave the left arm under, bringing your shoulder down onto the floor. So here we already can access a good stretch through the twist. And as you press your right hand into the floor, you give yourself leverage to roll the right shoulder back even more, deepening that spiral. Then you may be able to scooch your left fingertips across even farther, tucking the left shoulder under even more. Then if you lean back into that left shoulder, you get even more juice. Oh yes. Let's open it back up on a nice deep breath. Inhale, press against the earth and open your left fingertips all the way to the sky. And we'll exhale and circle the left arm down. Then we're going to go all the way forward, reaching the left hand to the top of your mat, melting your heart towards the floor. Then just rotate your left hand, bringing the pinky edge of your hand to the floor. Support your weight with your right hand as you actively sink your chest towards the floor. Breathe into that shoulder stretch and find your yes, allowing for that opening. Just give yourself to the experience. And we'll slowly draw it back to center. 
Pressing up and out of the earth, you glide your left hand back to its place. Then we'll make those big circles going in all directions. So see what the sun spiraling the hips and the shoulders around. Movement there. Center, you can draw back into a little child's pose. Reaching forward through your fingertips, extend all the way out through your arms. You could even slightly shrug your shoulders up towards your ears as you like claw your way forward, reaching out through your arms. Then sink your hips back and feel that stretch along the sides of your waist and your spine. Take one more full round of breath here. A deep inhale. Remember your breath. And exhale and see if you can soften even a little bit more. And I'll slowly make your way back up to center. Ah, all right. So we're going to shift into a lunge. So extend your right leg up and back behind you. We'll inhale, lift your heart, lift your heel, and stretch your belly. So we're just gonna be here for a moment. Kick that right leg super strong. Press up and out of the earth with your hands. So you roll your shoulders down your back. Think about dragging your rib cage forward and feel that stretch across the top of your tummy and lift up and out of the crown of your head. Take one more inhale here, really maximize your potential. Then we'll exhale and curl your body in. Hug your belly to your spine as you tuck your chin to your chest and hug your knee forward. Now see if you can shift your weight all the way through and step that right foot down between your hands. And if it doesn't quite make it on its own, just gently, you know, scooch your foot forward. You've got it. You know, you can take the time to set yourself up. And of course, if you need a blanket or some support under the back knee, by all means, take care of yourself in your practice. Now we're going to shift forward on your inhale, leaning your weight into your right foot. Press against the earth and lift up through your chest and through the crown of your head. Then as you exhale, we'll begin to glide your hips back, extending through the front knee, gently fold down over your right leg. Then we'll inhale to come forward lunging into the right foot, lift up through your heart and through the crown of your head, coming to the top of your breath. Then we'll exhale and glide your hips back, folding forward over your right leg, coming all the way to the bottom of the breath. So see how much you can elongate the breath and even the pauses in between. Then the inhale moves you forward. The exhale moves you back. We're gonna flow through three more cycles at your own pace. Letting the breath lead the way. And we're cultivating this mindset of listening to the breath, letting the breath be your guide. And the more skillful we become at listening to the breath, we can take that practice off of the mat. Take one more full round, slow and deep. So we cultivate this skill of listening to the breath so we can follow that breath, follow that wisdom in all aspects of our life. We'll just pause in this half split 
folding forward over your right leg. Just breathe into that stretch into the right hamstring and feel how your breath can calm and soothe the muscles into deeper states of relaxation. Then inhale and lift your heart. Lengthen your spine so the front leg is still extended, which is lifting up through the spine. Inhale here and open your right fingertips to the sky, getting a nice rotation in the spine. Lean into that IT band, just giving yourself full permission to access that stretch and let your breath be that calming, soothing force that invites your body to open and to relax and release. Okay, then from here, my friends, we're gonna draw your left heel up towards your hip reach down with your right hand and see if you can take a hold of the top of your left foot. Go ahead and pull that heel in as tight as you can, kind of gluing your heel to your hip. Now, once you make that contact, we're going to begin to lunge forward into the right foot. Pull with your right hand and see if you can keep that heel to hip connection. Roll your right shoulder back, spiraling through your spine. Lunge into the right leg and draw that left heel in, getting a great stretch across the top of the left thigh. We'll take one more breath here. Open through your heart and chest. Find your most expressive variation of this pose. Then we'll slowly draw your hips back. Release the left foot down and circle your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Now we're gonna lunge forward back into that right leg and slowly bend your elbows coming down into a lizard pose. So we're working our way into that inner hip stretch. And if you are not able to bring your forearms all the way down to the floor, you can just use your hands and bend your elbows. Our main focus here is getting the right rib cage down. So we wanna bring the ribs down towards the inside of the right thigh. This is how we eventually get our leg behind our head. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> Slowly begin to press yourself all the way back up. Frame your foot with your hands. We're going to lift the left knee off the floor and sweep your right leg up and back into a tripod down dog. Then stack the right hip open over the left. So we open through the hips and gently bend into your right knee. So just let the heel fall down and press your right knee up, up, up towards the sky. So the knee is the top of your pose, twisting through your spine. We open in the hips then slowly begin to draw your right foot all the way down to the floor, coming into your down dog. And you can pedal out your feet here if you want to stretch into the backs of your legs, one breath at a time, just opening it up. <sighs> yeah, feeling that length, feeling the breath, serving the body. Ah, then we'll settle into a place of stillness. Just take a full round of breath in your best down dog, in and out. And then we'll slowly release your knees down to the floor. You can draw your hips back into a little child's pose, reaching through your fingertips. Stretch your side body long and take another full round of breath right here.
slowly make your way back up to your tabletop. And we'll prepare for our second side. So just stabilize in your tabletop, making it nice and neat, sturdy and stable. Then we'll extend the left leg behind you. Now, don't just let it be floppy and lazy, <laughs> but really hug the left leg super strong like a karate chop. Hiya! Super powerful. Press up and out of the earth, lifting through your chest. Reach up and back through your heel. Lift your heart forward. Think about dragging your rib cage forward between your two arms. We lengthen through the spine. Breathe into that stretch at the front of your belly. Take a deep inhale. And at the end of your inhale, we're going to exhale and curl it in. Lift your belly up and in, really engaging your core as you round your spine, squeezing everything into center. Then we'll slowly draw that left foot forward. Ah. And see if you can step it down into a lunge and adjust as needed. <laughs> okay, so once you're set up in your lunge, we're going to come back into that rhythmic breathing movement. We'll inhale into a deeper lunge. Unfurl your spine, lifting up through the chest, lifting up through the crown of the head. Maximum stretch in the lunge. Then we'll exhale and draw it back gliding your hip over your knee, extend through the left leg and fold for the full exhale. Then we'll inhale and cycle forward, leading with the rhythm of your own breath. This is the movement, lunging forward and drawing it back to the half split. Let your breath be your guide. and let your body respond and feel that dance between the breath and the body. Enjoy the fluidity. Tune into that connection. This is your true essence. Breath embodied. We'll pause in your half split. Just taking another full round of breath here. Let yourself say yes in the stretch. And we'll inhale and press your heart up, lengthening through your spine. Keep that left leg extended and we open the left fingertips to the sky, revolving your half split. And just give that IT band some love. Maybe you're feeling some stretch in the outer hip or in the kind of SI joint or around the outer part of your hip. You could feel the stretch and the attachments at the knees. You know, anything that's tight along this line is gonna stretch. Okay, then we'll draw your right heel up. Reach down with your left hand and see if you can make contact and try to pull your heel in towards your hip. So this is a lot easier to do when your hips are back here. So, you know, I, I like to try this technique. So once you make that contact, then we start to lunge forward and see if you can keep the heel connected to your hip. So this takes you into an even deeper quad stretch. Then roll your left shoulder back, opening through your chest. Yeah, lift up and out of that right shoulder. Take one more full breath in your deepest stretch. Yes. Then we'll just easy glide the hips back and gently put the right foot down. 
Then we're coming all the way around to lizard pose. So bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot. Lunging into your left knee, we'll slowly start to bend your elbows, bringing your heart closer towards the earth. Eventually the forearms come down. And again, our primary focus here is bringing the left rib cage down to the inside of the left hip. It's not even about stretching the right hip flexor by like lunging super deep. Like that can give you a deeper stretch in the hip, but even if you're lifted up a little higher, then you actually have more of a challenge to get the rib cage even lower. So just kind of play with your placement and see how those little subtle adjustments change your experience in the stretch. And we'll nice and easy begin to make your way out of your pose, pressing back towards your lunge. Okay, we're gonna curl your right toes under and lift up that right knee, press against the earth and sweep your left leg high. Kick it up, then open your left hip over the right, bending into your left knee, open the hips and stretch. And while you're here, just take a look at your standing right leg. See if you can really stabilize your ankle and evenly distribute the weight in your foot. So really find stability in that standing leg and see if that gives you a little more freedom to open the left hip even more. And we'll slowly draw your left foot back down to the earth, nice and easy. And here it's up to you. If you wanna just settle into your down dog, you can go right there. If you wanna play with walking your dog, pedaling out your feet, this is totally up to you. What, what's needed? What is serving you right now? Ah, <sighs> just feeling that breath moving slow and deep. We'll take one more full cycle of breath, just settling into your down dog. Make it your most vibrant and alive pose. And we'll slowly soften your knees down towards the floor, making your way into a little child's pose. Sink your hips back towards your heels and reach your fingertips forward, lengthening through your side body. And take a couple more deep breaths here and feel yourself slowing down, relaxing a bit, and kind of giving, giving it all to the floor. And draw your hands under your shoulders and slowly press yourself up to kneeling. Mm. And glide your hips over to one side and swing your legs around in front of you. So place your feet flat onto the floor in front of you. Step your hands back and give yourself a little support through the arms and hands. And actually, we're going to turn your fingertips as much as you can. You want to try and rotate your fingertips forward towards your hips. Press into the mat and lift up through your chest. So this is a great stretch for the wrists and also a good stretch for the shoulders and chest. So really see if you can hug your shoulder blades together, rolling the collarbones open. You can even lift through your heart and lift through your gaze. So just breathing into that stretch. Three, two, one. And from here, we'll slightly rock back on the hips. You can bend your elbows and just float your feet up away from the floor. So we're going to go into, you know, this is a modified boat pose. We'll take a deep breath in here, lift up through your spine, reach up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, we're gonna extend, reaching the legs out. You can bend the elbows deeper. Then we'll inhale and hug it back in. 
yeah. Exhale to reach your body long. Inhale to squeeze it in. Exhale, reach it long. Inhale, squeeze it in. Lift up through your chest. Exhale, rock back. Inhale and squeeze it in. One more time. Exhale. And inhale, hug your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a little hug. Let your belly relax. Taking some deep breaths. Then again, we're going to bring your hands back behind you. See if you can rotate your fingertips towards the floor. Or <laughs> towards your hips, excuse me. <laughs> Rocking back on your hips, you'll lift your feet up. And we are going to bring in a little bit of twisting motion, working into the obliques. Okay, so extend your left leg forward and rotate your left shoulder towards the right knee. And we'll switch, twisting. Now it can be tempting to try and really jut the shoulder forward, but really I want you to think about bringing the rib cage around and really working through the obliques. So give yourself the challenge. You know, you can go slow and focus on the muscles that you're really working. So these are like the side oblique muscles rotating through the rib cage and the diaphragm. We'll take one more on both sides and hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a little squeeze. Nice work. Okay, I have one more exciting <laughs> core strengthening exercise for us. And there's a couple of variations that I'm gonna show you so you can choose you know, how deep you wanna work it. So we'll again, place your feet flat to the floor and rotate your fingertips towards your hips, flexing through the wrists there. Now, the beginning of this action is to move into reverse tabletop, lifting your hips as high as you can. So this is our inhale. You can take a deep breath. The exhale draws your hips back down. Now, option one is to sit your hips down with the legs extended. Option two is to keep the hips lifted and pull your hips back as much as you can. So we'll inhale and rock forward into your reverse tabletop. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, draw it back. Either sit down or pull the hips all the way back and through. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rock it back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Last one. Inhale coming up. Exhale, draw it back. Then sit your hips down, hug your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a squeeze. Ah, oh, how was that? Pretty fun, right? <laughs> Okay, we just come to a seat, roll your wrists around a few times. We definitely did a lot of work supporting and flexing in the wrists. You can roll your hands around a few times in both directions. Shake it out a little bit, and then you can go ahead and make your way down onto your back. So coming down Hug your knees in and give yourself a little squeeze here. Just appreciating yourself, appreciating your body, feeling that heat, that inner fire in your core, and that deep, satisfying breath, just moving and animating the whole thing. It's incredible. Okay. Bring your left foot flat down to the floor. Take a hold of your right foot with your hands 
and begin to extend up through your right heel. So your knee may not straighten all the way and that's totally fine, it really doesn't have to. As long as you're feeling a stretch in the hamstring, you know, that's pretty much it. If you're stretching your leg, you're doing the job. Okay, so just let yourself be with whatever you feel. Just pulling back on your toes, drawing your leg towards your face, and just try to anchor through your hips and your pelvis. One, two, three, four, five. Now bend into your right knee. Using your hands, drive the right knee down towards the floor. So this is like half of a happy baby. You're pressing down in the foot. Your ankle is stacking over your right knee. And you're using the strength of your arms to drive that right knee down, down, down. And then you're using your left leg to kind of stabilize through the hips. So you're not just rolling to the right side, but you've got some stability there. Something to kind of press against as you draw the right knee down. Then cross your right ankle over your left knee. Press your right knee open to the side. So before we do anything else, the left foot is still on the floor. We're just actively pushing the right knee back. So you'll feel a little bit more of an active stretch in your right hip. So the left leg is very stable and supportive. The right ankle is there using the support of the left leg to give you leverage to push the right knee open. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Now hug the left knee in, working your way into your reclining pigeon pose. You can hug your left knee in using your hands. Just make sure that you keep that right knee rotating open towards the side. And we wanna breathe right into those hips. So. What does that mean? Breathe into the hips. You need to take a deep breath all the way into your belly. Breathe that breath all the way down into your pelvis and feel the expansion of that inhale, increasing the tension in the stretch. Then as you exhale, that tension softens and you can stretch a little bit deeper. And we'll cross your right knee all the way over the left. And gently lower both knees to the left side, coming into a nice easy twist. Extend your right arm like 45 degrees out to the right side. So you can't really see me because I'm lying down, but the right arm is extending reaching to that upper right corner. As you stretch your right knee across to the left side, so you're really feeling that cross body stretch. And just breathe slow and deep into that space. Feel your breath expand fully taking that deep breath, even though you're in this twisted position. And slowly make your way back onto your back, uncross your legs and hug your knees in. Ah, oh, take a couple deep breaths. If you wanna rock side to side, you can or just anything that feels supportive here. You know, feel free to make your practice your own. You can put your own twist on it based on whatever your unique and beautiful individual body needs. Okay, then bring your, your right foot flat down to the floor. This is your grounding, stabilizing leg. Then we'll take a hold of your left foot with your hands and begin to extend out through your left heel. And again, the knee may not straighten and it doesn't have to. So don't worry about that. 
What's important is the exciting, sensational stretch. As long as you're feeling that stretch, that's all you have to do. Just take yourself to that edge, that safe edge, okay? We don't want to push it beyond what feels comfortable for our body. And I mean, comfortable is relative, of course. But you have to be the guardian of what's safe and what's not so good. <laughs> and we hold that space by listening to the breath. Now start to bend into your left knee using your hands to drive the left knee down into the earth. So we're coming to that half happy baby, pressing through the foot using, so it's like we're using the leg bones, the lower leg bones to push the knee down. Oh, yes. So we're using those levers and pulleys. That's basically what our bones and our muscles are, just a bunch of levers and pulleys. <laughs> and we'll use that right leg, that right foot, to ground and stabilize through the pelvis. And just find your best stretch, breathing all the way down into the legs. Slowly cross your left ankle over your right knee and press that left knee open to the sides. So again, we're using the right leg to stabilize. This is our grounding force, giving you something to press against as you really like actively push that left knee open so it's more of an active stretch in the hip. For three, two, and one. Then we'll draw the right knee up and in, moving into more of a passive stretch in the outer rotators. So we're just breathing in and breathing out with slow, patient intention. Remembering that essence of your breath, that life-giving force, healing your body, repairing the tissues, nourishing the cells with oxygen, with each and every breath. And we'll cross that left knee all the way over the right and gently lower your knees over to that right side, coming into your twist. Then we'll reach the left arm up and out at a diagonal, reaching towards that upper left corner. So we're just feeling into more of a side, you know, like this cross body stretch rotating and twisting across the left side. And just breathing into that slow and steady. slowly begin to make your way back uncrossing your legs hug your knees into your chest and give yourself a squeeze appreciating yourself loving your body giving gratitude for your breath and 
Now for this last moment here, I really want to open it up to you guys. Uh, what I'm offering here is just a reclining bound angle pose. Just bringing the soles of the feet together and the knees apart. And just letting your arms relax overhead. But if there's anything else that your body needs here, if you want to work a full happy baby, if you want to do legs up the wall or a shoulder stand, or if you want to do a bridge pose, you know, if there's anything that your body is craving to feel complete in our practice today, you can use this moment however you feel you need. And if you're not sure, you just want to roll with me, you can bring your feet together and your knees open wide. And wherever you are, whatever shape you take, Let's all utilize this moment for cultivating deep awareness and presence. Feeling your breath moving slow and deep. And see how the experience of stillness with the breath is different than the breath in motion. And slowly begin to extend your legs out in front of you making your way into your Shavasana, nice and easy, just gently like easing your way into this resting pose. And adjust yourself as needed so that you can really be comfortable and undisturbed. Settling into the earth. Feel the weight of your body melt. Dissolving the boundaries between you and the floor. Let go. Take off the layers of everything you're trying to be. And let yourself relax into pure being where there is no trying. There's no effort here. Simply breathing and being.
begin to draw your energy back into your body. Rematerialize and take a full deep breath, feeling the edges, and the boundaries of your body, expanding with breath. And as you exhale, just let yourself become fully present, fully embodied, back in this space. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. You can roll your head side to side and just softly begin to reawaken your body. Rolling your wrists and ankles around. And when you're ready, you can stretch your arms up over your head Taking a full body stretch and gently roll yourself over to the side and begin to press yourself up into a seat. Just let yourself stay really present. Even with the movements of your body, just changing position. Just feeling everything so deeply, so present. You can even close your eyes here, maintaining that internal space. Just take this moment to briefly reflect on your practice today. Observe how this practice has changed you. Observe the nearness of your breath. And let your heart be filled with a deep gratitude for your very life itself, the opportunity to be here and experience life on earth. Feeling gratitude for our body, which is the perfect container to carry us through life on earth. And feeling gratitude for our breath. Which is the key, it is the carrier of that life force energy that animates the body into life. So as you go through the rest of your day and as you move through this week, let this be your mantra to remember your breath as often as you can throughout the day. And if all you can do is come back for one deep conscious breath, if you do that 10 times or 15 times throughout your day, you are practicing deeper levels of consciousness and awareness. And that matters. So remember your breath today and this week and see what this practice does for you and your mindset and your productivity and your happiness. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for breathing with me and for moving with me and for walking this path with me. It's truly an honor. I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.